Hi, I am Dr. Sabhya Sachi Bal and I am the Chairman of the Institute of Chest Surgery and Chest Surgical Oncology at Sir Gangaram Hospital here in New Delhi. So everyone thinks surprisingly that people who get lung cancer actually are all smokers. I think this is a big myth and we've seen from data that is emerging in the past few days and past few years that people who are non-smokers can also get lung cancer. Therefore, while people who smoke are at a higher risk of developing lung cancer, people who don't smoke can also develop lung cancer. And that is why all symptoms pertaining to lung cancer need to be taken seriously. But there are other causative factors or risk factors as well. For example, the smoke emanating from many industries is a risk factor. Your age is a risk factor. The older you get, the more the chances of your getting lung cancer. There is background radiation in our environment from radon gas, which can also be an important risk factor. The Indian practice of using fossil fuels or trees or branches of it for cooking purposes. For example, our conventional chula at home can also produce various toxic carcinogens which can cause lung cancer. There are certain lung diseases, for example, which produce scars in the lung, for example, tuberculosis or interstitial fibrosis or chronic lung disease. These can also be the background for developing lung cancer. There isn't anything inherently different in the diagnosis or in the symptoms or in the treatment of cancers between smokers and non-smokers. There are some pathological differences. For example, smokers develop a kind of cancer which is known as squamous cell carcinoma, whereas non-smokers are more likely to develop a type of cancer called adenocarcinoma. However, the investigation, the diagnosis, the treatment of both these groups remain the same. What is most important, however, is to understand is that when you smoke or in patients who have been smoking for a long time, their normal lung tissue also gets destroyed. And therefore, these are patients when they need an operation or when they need treatment are at a higher risk basically because their remaining lung function is compromised and therefore, a patient who has never been a smoker and has developed lung cancer is more likely to undergo surgery successfully or undergo chemotherapy and radiotherapy successfully as compared to a smoker. The treatment algorithm is more or less the same. It actually importantly depends on the stage of the disease. So stages which are early, for example, stage 1 and 2 and some cases of stage 3a are treated by surgery up front. Other groups, the treatment starts with chemotherapy or radiotherapy or a new form of treatment which is known as immunotherapy or some treatment forms which are known as targeted treatment. There will be smokers who would have had a chronic cough for a long time and therefore they would ignore the cough. However, it's important to understand that in patients who have a chronic cough, any change in the character of the cough or bringing up blood in the sputum or recent worsening of your breathing or a change in your voice or sudden weight loss or lack of appetite or actually just the general feeling I'm not feeling well should actually take you to a doctor you are above the age of 55, then having an investigation called a low dose CT scan of the, of the chest can detect asymptomatic lung cancers or lung cancers at a very early, early stage. As an individual, if you've been smoking 15 pack years and are above the age of 55, nothing stops you from going to a doctor and asking for a low dose CT. The most important thing which people need to understand is that anybody can be susceptible to lung cancer and it's important that they consider all the symptoms that they have been having and not ignore it 
uh, if it is persistent. For example, if a recently developed cough has not settled down in about three weeks, then it is mandatory that you should go to a doctor, get a chest x-ray or other imaging investigations so that this disease can be caught at a very early stage. And I am very happy to be part of this awareness campaign about lung cancer and I would like to join hands in this Cancel Lung Cancer campaign.